All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install uh, Surfshark on a uh, Raspberry Pi or basically about any Linux machine. So we'll just go ahead and do an update just so that's done. Then we're going to uh, download OpenVPN and unzip because we're going to need them to uh, packages and the unzip might already be on your uh, Pi but uh, OpenVPN more than likely might not be so I already went ahead and installed that to save a few seconds so once that's done we're going to CD into the OpenVPN directory here and I'll throw a link in the description for this information then we are going to download the uh, OpenVPN configuration files off their website <clears throat> then we are going to do an unzip of the configuration file configuration if I can spell it right I guess it doesn't like when I tab it out <clears throat> all right so now that that's done we can go ahead and clear the screen on that guy then if we want we can remove the configuration <clears throat> so now if we just do an LS you can see here's our uh, our server list I wanted to say in here so what we can do is if we do a sudo open VPN then we can just select one of these guys now I'm going to have to do this again since I copied it and paste it click enter now it's going to ask for your username and password which that will be in your account uh, let's see here if you go to your account, then you go under manual setup, you can get your username and password. And all you gotta do is just put that in there, which I'll pause the video and I'll. All right, so once you put your username and password in, and if it comes up and it'll say this at the bottom of the very last line, uh, you should be good to go. So uh, that's pretty much how simple it is to install uh, Surfshark on a Linux uh, machine. So uh, I'm going to be doing another video on how to make it that you don't have to keep putting your uh, username and password in every time that you want to connect to uh, the Surfshark uh, server that we could just run a uh, simple command or maybe we can even set it up that it'll uh, automatically connect on boot. So uh, stay tuned and watch for that one. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.